what is up i am back this video has been so long overdue um i think the last time i filmed for you guys was probably i don't know back in like august um, but I am six months post-op and I have been getting so many questions on how my body's looking, um, how my scar's looking, is there any things that um, I didn't like about my surgery or Viva and stuff like that. So I am here and I want to spill all the tea on Viva, um, let you guys know my body update and how I feel and how I think I look six months post-op. And yeah, just give you guys some insight because I know a lot of you guys want to have a surgery or you guys are already booked. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I ended up writing um, on my iPad some little notes because I wanted to share with you guys. A lot of you guys had some questions. Um, I might be doing a Q&A, so I don't think I'm going to answer every single question you guys DM me. But I do have like a little bit of notes I, jot down, I jotted down about... Um, the surgery and what I need to talk about okay so I ended up writing on my iPad a little bit of you know just notes down so I don't try to like miss anything or anything like that for this little update so the first thing is it's 2022 you guys no that's not my notes but like for real you guys it's 2022 aren't we just ready to just like you know get shit popping work hard get to the like goals that we want to get to honestly i'm so excited this is like a new year so if anybody wants to get their body done it's your time to shine right now 2022 you're about to be snatched and if you already got snatched then props to you baby props to you okay so um a lot of questions everyone is asking me is how my body feels so i am six months post-op i got my surgery mid-july um, I went to Viva Plastic Surgery. If you guys haven't watched my video and my little vlogs on that, um, I will link them down below. But I went to Viva Plastic Surgery. My surgeon was Dr. Guadalajara. Um, I've never been to Mexico before. Um, just a little background. Never been to Mexico before. Don't know. I look Spanish. Um, and I was really nervous. The place was very nice, very professional. Um... If I needed to go get another surgery, which I don't think I will, but if I did ever think about getting another surgery, I would definitely go back to Viva. Um, I will. I tell my family and friends that I do highly recommend them. They were wonderful. My doctor did an amazing job, and everyone was super like friendly and humble. It just felt very comfortable, like they genuinely cared about you, if that makes sense. Um, but the I see a lot of girls post three months post op. And I know that you're kind of back to normal at three months. I kind of was back to normal at like two months, to be honest. Um, and I got an extended tummy tuck. Um, but it just depends on what your type of normal is. And to be honest, it is six months post-op and I don't think my body's like fully normal. Like obviously I got a tummy tuck um, and reconstructive surgery, I guess, like um, my abdomen. So it's still numb. It's my body's different. If I'm bloated, it just feels different. So I felt like three months post-op wasn't enough time to really heal and explain to you guys my body update. So um, my body now, it is amazing. I'm so grateful for it. It looks wonderful for the price I paid, for the quality and the place I chose. It was definitely worth it. I'm telling you guys, um, I'm not I'm not I know I'm not speaking for everyone I know people have mixed review reviews but me personally and I do not recommend places unless I'm genuinely comfortable and I know that they do a good job Viva plastic surgery is definitely top of my list without a doubt um, my stomach is pretty numb still um, if I were to eat I get bloated and it does tend to like kind of hurt I guess because I don't know my belly's just you know super tight basically everything snatched um everything does fall back to normal um i ended up getting fibrosis in my arms if you guys didn't know i got arm lipo um i might do a whole video on that but i didn't really think that my arm lipo was really that noticeable um i would have rather paid the money for something else like another add-on but i ended up getting arm lipo and i didn't it was basically um i'm from texas so it was really hard to find a uh, uh lymphatic massage like 
person to do my massages and it closed up and then it reopened and basically it was a whole process with my arms like my belly was fine everything was fine but my arms just really were hard to deal with so yes I did end up getting fibrosis so I had to do a lot of post-op massages um, let me see my butt basically went back to normal in three months it was like kind of rock hard first month uh, second month was hard but getting fluffier three months it started fluffing out super like fluffy and like when we say fluffy we mean like you know getting more squishier and just feeling like back to normal um but four months definitely the jiggle was there and the jiggle is here now um one thing is my hips my hips are pretty um i guess hard in a way um and i do work out all the time and i do yoga and when i lay on my sides for yoga it does t uh, tend to be a little like sore um but yeah other than that i just literally feel back to normal i work out literally five times a week um, I can do everything. Um, I've been doing everything since three months post-op. Um, yeah, that's my, I guess, you know, update for my body so far. Um, I have my fa faha on, so I'll stand up, but you can't, like, really see anything. Um, yeah, but I will definitely insert some pictures so you guys can see what my body is looking like now and... Maybe I will throw in some pictures of how my body looked like before. I do have that on a different video, but, you know, let's cut to the chase. Because I be always watching videos and people are like, I have it on my other video. Make sure you go to check it out. And, like, sometimes we ain't got time for that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, uh, next thing. Faha. Okay, so I got my Faha through a place called... F I don't speak Spanish, so bear with me. Form forma tu cuerpo. Did I do good? Did I do good? <laughs> but um, they their fajas are e amazing. Um, Viva gives you a free one. Um, it's like stage one. So I didn't even wear stage one. I went right to stage two. Um, but the fajas from there are super good. And it was pretty affordable. I think I paid $140 for it. And again, they're great quality. And if you hand wash them and ha uh, hand dry them, they last for uh, like so long um i ended up sizing down really quick so i ended up having to pay another 140 to get another faha um i'm still on my second faha i never went down to my third um just because i kind of stopped wearing it so i didn't really think it was like i guess a big must to spend another 140 for a smaller faha like i'm not really into that um i didn't get my body done to look like an IG model or anything like that I got it to feel good about myself and because I lost a lot of weight and I had excess skin so I just wanted it gone um, but my body does look really really good I want to let you guys know that even though fajas are super important to wear I'm telling you guys people say stop wearing fajas at three months post-op but I wouldn't suggest you guys stop to like five months I feel like when we get our surgery done this is like the little metaphor I was trying to say. I feel like our doctor carves it like we're a piece of clay and our doctor carves our body. And I feel like we are supposed to mold it. And I feel like a faha just doesn't do it in three months. Like I feel like our body needs more time, especially now, like from the outside, like from like seeing it from the outside now, because what is the saying? Coming from the outside in, right? Is that the saying? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but, um, now actually being six months post-op I understand what people say when they're like even though I'm three months post-op and I feel like I'm back to like my regular self I feel like I'm not fully back to my normal self and with that being said I'm still gonna wear my faha I hear a girl saying like I'm still getting my post-op massages and I feel like everybody's body's different so to each their own but me personally I feel like wearing a faha really did a difference in shaping um within the six months if that makes sense so definitely use your faha wear your faha love your faha sleep in it at night if you don't want to wear it during the day like honestly it's not a big deal throw it on before you go to bed you wear it you sleep for six to eight hours a day even maybe even more i don't know how much you guys sleep um but hey that's a good amount of time um and wake up and then just go about your day but just try to keep it on i would suggest for your six months that's me personally so post-op massages i feel like your surgery is important but post-op massages are equivalent to the importance of getting your surgery done i feel like 
post-op massages are a necessity they're not a want oh um two months post-op, I think I'm gonna stop. No, I feel like post-op massages are really a necessity and your recovery. Um, first of all, you need to take care of your body. People didn't tell me about fibrosis. I had no idea what fibrosis even was, um, if you guys aren't familiar with it, but I'll post a picture of how my arms looked or how just fibrosis looks in general um, right here. Um, but basically, it was like hardening, hardening of the skin there was bumps. It was very hard. Um, it would it wouldn't be able to get massaged out um, unless I got constant massages, um, and it was due to the lack of massages. So when I was in California, it was hard to like book girls for massages because I didn't pre-book them, which I should have done. Um, when like right before my surgery i didn't so i'm rushing to find people and then i find an amazing lady and i literally will put her link down below if you guys are in california i don't remember the maybe it was in i'm not too sure what part she's in but i will list it down below she's amazing also viva's massage ladies are amazing as well um those are the only two people i felt comfortable with i went to another lady and Horrible. I came to Texas. I went to another lady. Horrible. I finally found one who was wonderful. But other than that, it's really hard to find someone who's really good at what they do. And these ladies, I highly recommend. So I definitely will link, uh, link their little ads down below. Um, but it was hard for me to find um, like a person to do my lymphatic drainages. So I would get it like once every three days. And I know that the doctor says get it every other day. But let me tell you right now like come close real quick come close. let me let me just tell you something right now if you guys learn anything from this video right now like i am trying to get you looking better than i did i'm trying to get you snatched i am trying to see you thrive and with that being said get your post-op massage literally like right after surgery the day after surgery get your ass to get a massage i recommend getting it every single day do not miss a day, I'm telling you. And do this for about your first month, literally every day. I mean, after your first month, when it comes to two months, go maybe four times a week, okay? Your first two weeks. And then the next two weeks after that, let's do three times a week. But please stay consistent until you're at least three months post-op because I'm telling you, these post-op massages are so, these are key to make your body what they really are. Like just because your doctor does amazing work on you doesn't mean that it will stay like that. I know girls who have lost their ass. I know girls who have lost the shape of their body. I know girls who have developed fibrosis, have developed, um, what are they called? Basically like build up a fluid inside, inside of you. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but yeah, I know a lot of things happen after surgery that nobody talks about and with that being said i feel like it is a lot a lot of it can be prevented with a good lymphatic drainage masseuse and getting them every day for like the first month highly recommend that you guys i'm holding you accountable right now this is 2022 hold yourself accountable and if you're not getting them consistently i'm gonna come get you because i want your body looking fine this summer you hear me um another thing i want to talk about is scars i know a lot of people are very curious of how my scars are looking um i will post a video uh i mean a video i'll post a picture right up here of how they're looking right now i got an extended extended tummy tuck so basically my scar wraps around all the way to my butt and it stops right here so it, this is my back i have like this much openness um he did an amazing job. I hear a lot of girls get like um reconstructive surgery for their scars. Mine looks immaculate and I am I've always been one that was like super nervous. Now I feel like it's 2022. Everyone embraces their body, their scars, their their stretch marks and stuff like that. I'm I'm even with that. Um but my scar doesn't even look bad. It looks really good. I wear high-waisted bikinis, high-waisted thongs. It looks good. I feel confident. Um and that was even before I started using anything for it. Now my belly button it was great it was everything was going great um the scar was round obviously it was red i'm i'm really white complected so um my scars kind of show up really red but for some reason my belly button developed a little keloid and if you don't if you guys don't know what a keloid is it's basically 
your scar and it's like a three it, it come it pops out 3d and i have like a little circle on it um i would definitely post a picture here um but it has a keloid and i'm a little embarrassed by it um but at the same time i don't care because i am doing treatments on it so yeah it happens i know a lot of people that do develop keloid scars um a big preventative on that is watch out with the sun um which I did not do. So I think that's why I developed it and it got darker. But um, I am using a fade cream and a little kit from Amazon and it is for scars. You put it on you and it's supposed to, you know, diminish the look of scars, the appearance, the color, you know, the projection. So um, I will definitely give you guys like an update on how I'm doing with that. I know a lot of people are really self-conscious. Okay, so um, recovery house a lot of people have been asking me where I stayed I didn't stay at a recovery house but I really do suggest that you stay at a uh, Viva's recovery house I've heard a lot of great things about them and coming from someone that didn't have help I never had surgery before I would have loved going to Viva because I heard that they help you tremendously so I highly recommend their recovery house I hear a lot of great things on Facebook so if you guys aren't in the Facebook group please get on that um, they give you a lot of tips there's a, tons of women that share their stories with you guys um, they talk about the recovery house. I do really highly recommend them. Um, I stayed at a hotel and I mean, my experience wasn't bad. I did get constipated. Um, let me see. It wasn't hard getting up. It was just, I don't know. I just felt like being surrounded by women and other people that have been through it or have seen people and help people because that's their job helping women post-op. I feel like I would have had a better experience because i was kind of all alone you know um but that is my little post-op experience um i am six months post-op like i said i have so many other things to talk about um i know i have tremendous questions that everyone's asking me so i think i'm going to be doing a q a this week to answer any of your guys's questions um so if you do have any questions feel free to comment down below or message me on my instagram don't forget to like this video please 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 show some love i'm here to you know give you guys some knowledge make you guys feel better about yourself give you guys some hope and inspiration when it comes to having a surgery so i would really appreciate if you guys like and follow um and last but not least let's get a little drum roll do we get a little drum roll rolling i actually went last month and got another surgery what i did it wasn't at viva though it was not it was at a different doctor that my aunt went to and she recommended me there and you know in mexico you just can't beat the prices i'm sorry people say oh my gosh mexico is so scary but like after i went once i was like oh i'm a pro like let's go so i went somewhere else okay and i'm throwing this in there for one reason and one reason only i went somewhere else i didn't have a bad experience at all i ended up getting chin lipo and i got the buccal fat removal Um, I will I, ha I have a video on it so I will be posting it but I just want to say one thing <clears throat> I went to a way different part of a way different a different part of Mexico um, and it was on the border of Texas so not in Cali and I got my surgery there and let me just tell you guys do not be worried about Viva because this place I heard it was I heard super good things about it but the people there weren't as professional. Like, don't get me wrong, they were great, but definitely not. The hospitality at Viva was immaculate. The building in Viva was beautiful, super nice. Um, it wasn't jam-packed. I personally went like, I guess kind of like, you know, what day did I go? I think it was like midday, midweek. It wasn't, there wasn't that many people, um, but it was very nice. And all I got to say is I really, really recommend Viva compared to other places. Um, I've been to one um, and in Mexico, I feel like it is a big, if you haven't been there, it is kind of scary to go somewhere you've never been, but yes, definitely recommend them. I love my body. I feel great. I'm happy. I love my results. My scars are great. Everything's great, you know? And 
I'm excited for you guys. So yeah, that's all I want to say. I hope I answered some of your guys' questions. I will definitely be linking everything down below when it comes to the post-op massages and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed my video um, and stay tuned.